Hi, my name is Samir Malik. I'm a private tutor for middle school and high school students. Today we're going to prove De Morgan's Law and I'm going to illustrate that with some examples for you. Now the first point, first law states not P and Q, which means not P or Q. So for example, when you have P and Q both together, this would be false because we have both P and Q together and the law states not P and Q. So this first table is false. Now, the second one we have not P but we do have the Q. So, because we do not have the P, uh, but we do have Q, then the statement is true, because they're saying, for this equation, not P and Q. For the second one, we have not Q, but we do have P, so that is true. And for the third one, we have not P and not Q, so that is also true for our first law. Moving on to the second law, we have not P or Q. So in other words, neither P or Q can be in our equation here. So here, we have a P and we have a Q, so it's false. Here, we do not have a P, but we do have a Q, so it's still false. For here, we do not have the Q, but we do have the P, so it's still false, because we're not allowed to have P or Q. And for the last one, we do not have P and we do not have Q, so that makes the second law true based on this diagram that I've illustrated for you. So these diagrams show us how De Morgan's law works and how we can prove his laws to be correct. So from these two equations, we're able to understand and we're able to see how De Morgan's law works and we're also able to prove it using the tables which I've created for you.